Yo, my hair is sticking out of this, sticking out of this hat, bro. What is up with my? Yo, my hair is going crazy. Where is it? Where is forward or what's going on? Not nah, man, where forward you can't see yo. But hope you guys like this new setup here. You got 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 my screen right here with the uh, with the moss here, and the wallpaper. I got got this light over here. It's uh, my old fish light I use for use for my twenty gallon. It's a lot easier to record in here. There's no sound because out there there's you know there's aerators, there's pumps, there's tanks, there's filters. If this is your first time here, my name is Brian, and I make all kinds of freshwater fish keeping videos. In this channel, I cover things like DIY projects related to the aquarium hobby, along with giving you guys updates on all of my fish. So, if you like what you're checking out, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the growth of my Monte Carlo plants, which is on top of my Polypterus tank. So if this is your first time here, let me go ahead and break down what my Monte Carlo project actually is. So back then I went to Daiso, picked up a plastic container. I ended up flipping it upside down, putting some aqua soil in there and planted some Monte Carlo plants within. The way this thing works is I went ahead and drilled one hole on the side, which is by overflow. And then I use an air lift tube to pump water from my polypter tank. It goes straight into this container, then overflows back out into the polypter tank. The polypter tank consists of five bikers and one anabas. Three of the bikers consist of laps. Two of them are enlays. The substrate is garnet sand. The tank is five foot by 18 by 24 or something. And then it is also filtered by a 20 gallon long filled with K1 fluidized media. So if you ever wondered what the core specs of my tank is, I pretty much just laid it all down right there. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. So the original plan for this box was to house smaller fish or betta on top of my fish tank. I went ahead and made a video on this and I'll post it up right, right here. I ended up giving that betta away to my coworker, so this tank was pretty much empty. And then I went ahead and switched this over to a nitrate filter, filling it up with fast growing plants, algae, moss, you name it. So when I figured out that I wanted to go with the Monte Carlo project, I took all the fast growing plants, put them in my other tanks, added some sea chem substrate, and then started planting some Monte Carlo in there. From there on, I pretty much left the Monte Carlo to grow on its own, pretty much using the biker's waste to fertilize the plants and the substrate to feed the roots so they can grow nicely. And on top of that, went ahead and went through a handful of lighting upgrades, but ended up with this light right here, which I got from my buddy when I salvaged his tank and all of his shrimps. Every single lighting that I've added into this little container, this little project. I mean, the water is so shallow that any, almost any kind of lighting will suffice and it pretty much pearls no matter what kind of lighting I have on it. With the amount of water changes I do for my polypterus, I'm pretty much keeping this little container very, very clean. Although it does have a lot of algae, it's because I leave my lights on for a very long time, which is why I have a cleanup crew inside, which consists of three cherry shrimps and one nearite snail. So since my water quality is good and my lighting is pretty much the best that it can be, there's only one thing that I can do for these plants to grow a little bit better. So in this little container, you can see I have little patches of Monte Carlo and little patches of weird areas that don't have Monte Carlo growing in there. I also have runners that run across the edges of the tank and I also have lush areas and I have kind of like dead areas. I have dead Monte Carlo in there and I have like really nice growing Monte Carlo as well. So just to kind of even out the growth of the Monte Carlo throughout the project, I went ahead and added root tabs in those little empty patches and just stuffed them in there. Pretty much adding more nutrients in the substrate in the hopes that the runners will head towards that area and populate that specific location because of all the nutrients that's in that area. Another thing that I tried to add was Sea Chem XL, but the only issue with that is since I'm pumping water from my polypters tank and I only need XL to be congregated in that area where the Monte Carlo are, it's kind of hard because after about a couple of minutes, the water would have cycled out already and the XL would be all over my polypters tank. So what I've been doing is I've been turning off the pump and giving it about two to three hours of kind of alone time and cut off circulation and just dosing XL in the little container. And then after two hours, it's turned it back on. I'm not too sure if this works. I'm just adding it because I've had good experience with XL in the past and I would hate to not use it for this project here. So that's the only way that I can add Excel into that little project without wasting it and having it drain throughout the whole system. 
So if you've been wondering how my Monte Carlo are doing, that's how they're doing. They're doing pretty good. I have a little bit of die off melt back, but a uh, majority of my Monte Carlo are growing well. Hopefully I'll go ahead and get the Monte Carlo carpet soon because I'm tired of looking at little patches and whatnot. I just want to see a lush bottom at the bottom of this project. If you ever wanted to try this product out for yourself, but don't want to build your own DIY box, I highly suggest you guys check out the Marina breeder boxes or the satellite breeder boxes. So they're pretty much like hang on back filters, but they have the same concept, right? They have the air lift tube pushing water in the container and then flowing back out into the tank. You can pretty much have this set up, but instead of being on top of the tank, it'll be hung on the sides, the back or the front or whatever. But you'll pretty much be able to do this in your tank, but in a whole kit, you don't have to build something like this. If I had the option to, I probably would, I probably would have went with the marina hang on back. But since I have an acrylic tank, it'll be hard for me to hang it on the tank itself, at least in the front. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Monte Carlo project and along with giving you guys a sneak peek of all the plant filtration that I added for the system. Stay tuned for the next video because the next one's gonna be all about updating you guys on all the inhabitants I have in the garage, including the Polypterus, the Anabis, and the two goldfish. There's a handful of you guys that made comments on my climbing perch a couple videos ago, so I'll spend a little extra time explaining and pretty much telling you guys my experiences with my climbing perch or my novice. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And peace guys. Yeah.